Hello everyone, Trigon here. Welcome back to Empyrean Galactic Survival. Don't forget, if you like this video, tickle that thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. So, I did manage to get out and do a little bit more resource gathering. And this thing sucks. <laughs> so, you can see it's taking quite a bit of damage. Uh, I actually... I went to the only world that has a Sathium asteroid in orbit, planning to get some Sathium, uh, and realizing that was going to be probably deadly to Growler from radiation. But, you know, you've got to do what you got to do, right? Yeah, well, apparently Growler's got to do what you've got to do. He, right. Um, and I came out of warp and it was immediately attacked. But it's also the only planet that had gold. So I went down to the surface and... Got attacked by some of those shadows looking guys, and I'm referring to the Babylon 5 shadows, not shadows, shadows. And they did this damage. One of them just jumped up onto the ship and started bashing holes in it. Actually, first he jumped up onto the cockpit and started hitting Growler through the cockpit. <laughs> uh, I ended up putting another generator and an additional fuel tank on there because there just it wasn't enough power with the uh, additional guns on there for, and, the, and the new engines for everything to work. So it sucked. It has really sucked a lot. We need to build a new ship. So uh, I couldn't get any Sathium, so we can't build a, 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 a big starship. We need a small starship that can defend itself. So let's see here. Um, what am I going to need? Um, don't know if I'm going to need any titanium. We'll take that. Ooh, I made quite a lot of planks. I didn't realize that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take those. Probably going to need them. Um, neodymium, copper, dot, dot, dot. Come on. Dot, dot. Don't I have... I thought I made some computers. Oh, here they are. Right here. All right. So... Let's turn this way. Turn this way. So I looked over them really well. I like... Where is it? I went into... Uh, um, went into... Uh, um, what you call it? Uh, creative mode so I could look at these. And this Kachina is within our range to get. We have all of the stuff. And it's pretty well armored and armed. Unfortunately, one, there's no place to put turrets on it, which I would really like to have some turrets so that it has some automated defense. It also has no warp drive, and I didn't even see a spot to put a warp drive. So we are not going to do that. We are going to go ahead and go with the Skive. Let's see. We need about 200 some odd copper ingots. Should be about half what we got. Yeah. Just about 100 silicon ingots. There, we need these four guys. There, we need 35 titanium rods, which we have a ton of those. There, we need 100 neodymium ingots. We got plenty of that now. Ooh, there's a storm, and looks like not even a hundred cobalt ingots just just a few Will that be enough yes uh, we don't need any stone dust for this so start production okay so we'll go ahead and put all this stuff back oh yeah and I got some stuff from the latest attack we suffered from uh, okay so what I'll probably do is strip down this old one again, because I doubt we're ever going to use it. I, I don't want to go about repairing it, even though we could use it to haul that thing around. I just don't see us doing it. I think that's probably going to be used just here on the planet's surface until such time as I get, uh, as I get uh, uh, um, a CV. Okay. There we go. Okay, so this ship has plenty of room here. Actually, what I think I want to do... Let's go ahead and... Fill all. Fill all. 
don't really need it powered on at the moment. Let's thrusters off, low power mode. What I really want to do is, um, didn't I just turn the thrusters off? Why am I selling thrusters? Hmm. All right. First off, what I'm going to do is take these guys off from here. Now that ship does have the warp drive already, so we don't have to worry about that. I'm thinking what I want to do though is build a shield generator and stick a shield generator in there. Okay. Oh, and we'll go ahead and take this. And I know it took some other stuff, so. Nope. I turned the jump jets off instead of turning them on. Okay. I actually have tried this. You can, with a bit of work, get a, a miner or something up here, but instead I really want to put uh, those turrets up here so we have some turret defense while we're out and about. Okay. So that will go. Actually, you know what? Should I just. Yeah, let's place these aimed out. Right, right there. Yep. There. Doesn't really matter what direction they're painting, uh, posted, or <laughs> what direction they're set to. They're going to turn the right direction one, one way or the other. Okay, so we're going to need 130 mill millimeter missiles, which I'm pretty sure I have some. Uh, we need the pentaxid out of the other ship. Let's go ahead and we're going to manage this. We've already used up a good chunk of our pentaxid. And we haven't gotten any more. Manage. 10, 32. Okay. And then we'll take the oxygen too. We need 6, 13. And we've taken all we can of that. Um... Is there anything else I need here? Don't think so. I think we should be okay. Actually, before I go anywhere with that, though, let's go get the missiles and see about building ourselves a shield generator. I think I already got the skill for it. So let's go to small ships. And okay, here it is, right here. And we have all the stuff to build it. Cool. So let's go ahead and grab shield generator. See if I can now find it. There it is. Um, so we got plenty of fuel with us, plenty of oxygen. We got all our food and all that stuff. Um, missiles. Here's our 130 millimeter, millimeter, millimeter not milliliter. Yeah, say that stuff right. Growler wants it done right. Just hush, Growler. You don't know the difference. Okay, so now we can go ahead and fill this. Fill this. Okay, so... We don't really need all these storage bays. That was weird. What moved me? We don't really need all the storage bays because we uh, uh, don't have the stuff turned on for that. So I'm thinking about removing these guys and sticking it in there. I also could just stick it right back here. You know what, let's just do that. We'll take that out. We don't need any passenger spaces. Come on. So there we have our shield generator, which is also going to eat up Pentaxid, but there you go. Um, let's see here. Come on, sit. Let's go ahead and... We're over on CPU usage, but I think we'll be okay with that for now. Let's go ahead and turn the shield on. 
athletic charge. Over on CPU, I don't think we're over on power. That looks good. That will take some time to charge. We'll let it charge. Let's see how I am on skills. We've got 143 points. We've made it to level 17. Let's go to small vessel, see what we can do here. I would love to hit 20 and be able to get the laser drills, which is actually part of my plan is to replace the, uh, maybe the guns. I don't, I'm not sure. But replace one one of the pairs of weapons on the front of the ship and put uh, laser drills on it instead. So then we can just use this directly to mine. But we need to make three more levels before that becomes even possible. So we'll go ahead and do that. We can get plasma cannons. Rail guns. Wow. Okay, this stuff, thrusters, passenger seats, landing. We've got all that stuff we really need right now. Tools. Oh, we can make the tier two multi-tool now. I think. Yeah, yeah. We didn't have the materials before, but now we do. Or we did, but we didn't have enough that I really wanted to do anything with it. And got all of that stuff. I'm not going to worry about that too much right now. We won't be able to do that to level 20. Ooh, rocket turrets. We can get rocket turrets for our ground vehicle. May worry about that later. I don't think I'm really going to worry too much about this other stuff right now. We're doing okay. Um, where is our fridge? I need to paint this thing so I can find it easier. Here it is. We'll paint it green. There we go. Let's go ahead and put that in there. Okay, and our shield should be... It's not charged. Why is our shield not charged? Ship too heavy to take off? Oh, Crap. Really? Really? Oh, no, it's too heavy to take off because I've got the engine shut off. Dumbass. Shut up, Growler. I'll go to high performance mode. Okay. Okay, we are well within range for the uh, for the uh, uh, um, generators. Generators seem to be fine. I don't understand why our shield isn't charging, though. Maybe it's because we were docked? Can your shield not charge if you're docked? Because I think this is going to be the big boy that's going to protect us, is having that shield on there. Okay, the shield is going up now. I want to let it get to full before we go and do anything. Because that will, uh... Whoa, we are way high above the floor. I'm not going to try to do anything right now. I want to get the shield up. Yeah, there we go. So that... Yep. I want the shield up so that it's at 100%. It'll stay at 100%, then we power it back on, it'll be delayed for a little while before it comes up, but then it'll be immediately at 100%. And it stays that until the shield is damaged. And you see we've got two rocket launchers, we've got some nice lights on the front. Is there anything else? The performance on this guy is really good. In fact, the low power mode is really necessary... Uh, if you're trying to do anything fiddly. Um, but I wonder if now, if that's going to be enough for us to uh, go do a Sathium Asteroid. I don't think I have anything else here I really want to worry about. Let's get some food in us. We have plenty of food, as you can see. The growler's all set there. 
All right, let's see if we can go get some Sathia now that we have the new ship. I'll disassemble that between episodes. I'm not worried about it right now. Okay. Um, hello? V? There we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, that sort of took up faster than expected. So much faster than the other ship. <laughs> so much faster. Why don't we have a, what you call it? Um, artificial Horizon. Right, I accidentally turned it off or something? That's there, okay. So, we are going to go back to this system, I believe. Info panel. Sathium. So there's Sathium here. I believe this is the only place in the system with Sathium. So, despite the fact that it is heavily uh, defended, we're going to have to get in there and get some. So let's lock target. And it is down and to our right. should probably look for some pentaxid while we're out, too. Oh, for God's sakes. Oh. Alright, shield down. Oh, we had enough left for a 119 AU jump. Holy crap. Definitely need to get ourselves more pentaxid. Shield up. Okay. Now, let's see about finding a Sathium asteroid. I don't want to go right over that, whatever it is. There's stuff out this way. I don't know what. There's some asteroid we're practically on top of. But there's a lot of nasty around here, too. And it seems like they've decreased the range of the sensors. That's gold. <laughs> I've got tons of gold right now. I'm not worried about gold. I landed on the planet and got gold. Yeah, I was actually very pleased that despite the fact that I got hit, attacked by a drone the moment I came out of warp here, uh, all the the stuff that was hit survived. What he hit was the, um, the warp drive and the extra generator and all of that. Of course, I put extra armor over the the additional generator and stuff. So that probably helped a little bit. But the warp drive had taken some damage, but it was continuing to work anyways. He's ignoring me at the moment. I don't know what he is. Got really close to him. But he does not seem to be paying any attention to us, so I like that. I guess I'm going to have to look around some more. There's a way station up there. Okay, we have found the Sathium asteroid. The question is... Well, first off, the question is, where's the Sathium? That's it. Come on. Um... Here, let's decrease thruster power. Let's decrease thruster power and turn on the spotlights. There we go. Uh, zero G is so entertaining. Okay. Actually, let's just get right in here on this.
Okay. All right, so now we can go ahead. Oh, spotlights. All right, so I have those off. Why did that open the door above me? I mean, I wanted the door above me open, but... Okay. Um, I think we're going to there. Yeah, we get our radar back. All right. Let's see how much of this stuff we can get. If we can get enough of this stuff to build a starship... I'm really tempted to build the same ship we built before. I, I really want to do something different, but just looking at the starter ships available, it really seems to be the best one. <laughs> the uh, Wayfarer, uh, I think, is a little less heavily armored, has a bigger greenhouse. Um, but I think it's less armored and uh, less armed. Okay, looks to me like we got everything off this asteroid. At least as good as I can tell. Uh, we need to we need to put our engines back up to full power. Uh, 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 there we go. Okay, so we've got all the sathium. I don't think there's going to be any uh, what you call it stuff here. Akua, that's our moon, right? Lock target. Oops. Whoa, 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 whoa. Shit. I don't know what they're destroying and I don't like it. How did they sneak in on us? I had been keeping such a good eye on the on the everything. I think that's the Creel. They have called for help too. Okay, let's turn off the brakes. Uh, no, it's not what I wanted. This is what I want. Okay, shields down. Can we warp? Yes. And obviously they've destroyed the <laughs> integrity of the cabin. This is the last of our jump fuel, so we're going to have to find some more jump fuel before we can do anything more. Yeah, we are completely out of fuel now. All right, Growler, just don't freeze to death in the little bit of time it takes for us to get home. <laughs> Suffering from hypothermia already? Oh, God. How can I be suffering from hypothermia already? Let's get down into the atmosphere as quick as we can. That'll at least, I hope, keep Growler from dying on us. Your Growler's not too keen on this cold. Yeah, I, I know I'm freezing. I don't really know why I'm freezing. Wish our guns had actually come into play and start shooting at that damn ship. There we go. We should be into safe atmosphere now. Uh, I don't know. There we go. Why have I lost control? Really, I have no control. Did we run out of fuel or something? No, our fuel is good. No! Shield is down. No idea why we have no controls whatsoever all of a sudden. Hmm. Well, oh, when we're underwater, too. That's terrific. <laughs> zero, it says zero minutes of fuel, but fuel tanks are full. 
Okay, what did they take out here? Pentax attack is intact. This is intact. Yeah, it's like we have no power, but I have no idea why. We lost some stuff over here, but I don't think anything over here was important. Oh, we lost a lot more over there than I thought. Uh, hang on. Okay. Corn, we got a. We lost one of our CPU extend. That's why we've lost one of our CPU extenders. So we lost. We've lost control of the ship. So we don't have enough CPU to, to handle all the stuff. Uh, let's try doing this. Let's go to low power mode. And we can try going to the turrets. Can I not dis deactivate them? Turn off all weapons and turrets. Ooh, ooh, I think we just got power back. Something. No, we still have no controls. Okay, well, it looks like it's going to be a long trip back for Growler. And then we'll have to come back and try to repair this ship. Uh, zero. Ah, uh, we're not too bad, just three kilometers. All right, off we go. I do love the fact, however, that despite falling out of orbit, the ship just sort of bumped down into the water and stopped. <laughs> oh, dear. All right, we're home. Come on. Off the cycle. All right, let's get inside. Last attack, the guy, these guys did... Uh, did a lot of damage, didn't destroy anything, but did do a lot of damage. But, uh, uh, other than that, our defenses are holding out quite well. And now we do have our Sathium. Okay. Let's see, Sathium ingots. How many Sathian ingots did we end up with? We ended up with 1,095 of them. Okay, perfect. Do we have any ore left? Did that use up all the ore? Yeah, it did. Okay. Wow. I didn't expect to get 1,000 Sathian out of that. So it must be two ingots per uh, ore. So that's nice. I know some of them aren't. Some of them it's like five ore per single ingot or something like that. Um... All right, so now we should have enough peer, peer, uh, in materials to build a starship. Um, I tell you, I gotta tell you though, I am not enjoying the increased uh, difficulty out in space. Uh, I, I, I just don't think it's any fun to just be constantly being attacked by forces way more powerful than you. I mean, he took out our shield and did a shitload of damage before we were able to do anything. And we just lucked out in having enough fuel left after that to, to jump back. All right. And that he didn't hit anything critical. All right. So, um, I don't know what I'm going to do in the meantime. What I'd really like to do is get some more levels. How close are we getting to... Now we're barely in 17. I might just have to figure out some way to just grind out three more levels so we can hit 20 and uh, get... Uh, mining lasers. So once we can do that, I think we'll be in better shape. This will be able to just put mining lasers on our starship, jump into a system, go to an asteroid, mine it. You know, we don't have to leave the cockpit at all. But that's going to be it for today. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have, please remember to tickle that thumbs up button. If you haven't already, please subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Have a great day.
bad by any means. Martian Rats is just a good thing. Uh, that's a robot. So what am I doing? Uh, you're gonna be like an adventurer. And they call them the Vault Hunters. Well, most have all sorts of good stuff in it. I've been getting a little sun, and I'm silent forever. Keep making me get naked and start over again. Well, it's good for you. You know, it builds character.